guys, so it's the end of the day here for me. I just uh, got out of the shower and I'm all moisturized up to, uh, to uh, slow down that trans epidermal water loss. Yeah, yeah. Combating winter here in Houston, which means 70s and gray drizzle, and that's about it. But depending on where you are and watching me currently, it's probably quite a bit colder and you may be in the, uh, the dry winter combat zone. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing for you guys a new, well, new to me, vegan uh, skincare line that is ceramide based um, and comparing it to my ride or die um, question mark vegan, probably not question mark cruelty free, seems to be <laughs> CeraVe. Okay, you all know that I am a long time uh, like I have a love affair with CeraVe. They, you know, as somebody with eczema, CeraVe products uh, really, really have helped me in flares of eczema and they just make fantastic skincare products. Um, but in, you know, having this YouTube channel here, having a, being somebody with a plant-based vegan diet, um, many of you verbalize that, hey, you want your skincare to be vegan and or, you know, cruelty free and or vegan exclusively and you're not too too comfortable with CeraVe. Is there a ceramide based skincare line similar to CeraVe? And so I kind of stumbled along on this uh, Earth Science Cera Ceramedics um, line of <clears throat> skincare products kind of um, accidentally on iHerb. Um, you all know that in my 2000, what was it, my my moisturizer, body moisturizer favorites, I um, I stated in that video that one of my, my favorites is the Earth Science Rice Ceramide Fragrance Free Body Lotion by Earth Science. Um, so I, I kind of was, you know, perusing iHerb once in the middle of the night and I was like, whoa, there's like this whole ceramide line. Turns out it's relatively legit. So I reached out to to Earth Science, okay, they didn't contact me. I reached out to them because, you know, as a, as a dermatologist and said, hey, you know, I'm a dermatologist, can I get some samples? Um, and by the way, would you mind if I chit-chatted about them on my YouTube channel? And they were like, sure. So they kindly provided me with all of these products um, and are comfortable with me reviewing them for you, but they did not, they're not paying me to say anything about it. Um, and so my opinions are mine. All right, but getting into it, what I hope to do today is compare the products that I tried, um, have, to, have been trying, to the CeraVe kind of equivalents, okay? Um, so first of all, the Earth Science Ceramedics line is all <clears throat> ceramide um, based, and the ceramides in the Ceramedics line are plant derived, okay? They're derived from a rice bran extract, okay? Um, what's the deal with ceramides? If you're new here, ceramides are one of the really key uh, components of the very top layer of our skin, the stratum corneum, and they can become deficient in states like eczema, dry skin, and with aging. And we have decent evidence, pretty good evidence actually, that putting putting um, ceramides onto the skin exogenously in cream forms helps facilitate repair and restoration of the skin barrier, skin barrier homeostasis, um, really can help people suffering from eczema uh, recover their skin barrier, um, perhaps a little bit more expeditiously, okay? Um, many ceramides are synthetic and or, you know, derived from supposedly potentially animal products okay but the problem is that you know skincare companies and cosmetic companies they don't have to disclose exactly their formulation okay so there's always the question of well is this technically vegan um, and that's where people have concerns additionally CeraVe has cholesterol in it which isn't a lot of moisturizers a good ingredient and they haven't really been clear-cut as far as I I'm aware as to whether or not their cholesterol is um, animal derived I suspect it is um, but anyway Ceramedics uh, uses a plant derived ceramide and there's no cholesterol or any other sort of animal products in their their line or excuse me any sort of animal derived ingredients in their line um, and they're all cruelty free and vegan and what I really what also attracted me to them is they're pretty no nonsense okay you know my beef <laughs> with vegan skincare products and cruelty free skincare products has always been that 
that they put so many essential oils and fragrancy ingredients in their products that I can't recommend them to anyone. Um, fragrance and essential oils have no place in skincare products. They cause a lot of problems. Ceramedics, uh, uh, Earth Science has smartly left those out. And so I kind of, you know, I, I was looking into this and rejoicing that, oh my goodness, is this, is this finally the line that I'm going to be able to recommend to you, my vegan skincare exclusives out there who only want vegan and only want cruelty free. Um, all right, so first up, the um, let's just go, I'll go through the first one that I tried here. This is the Ceramedics Restoring Body Lotion. All right, um, so this is, it's got the, the rice ceramide mix in it, and it also has a variety of plant-derived oils in it. Um, most of which I reviewed for you guys in my oils and skincare. Um, it's got um, safflower seed oil, sunflower seed oil, glycerin, shea butter, rosehip oil, so soybean oil. These are all plant derived oils which actually do have some good, good evidence as being safe in skincare and as being efficacious potentially um, helping restore the skin barrier a little bit better. And if you want more information on these oils and, and how I think that they're best employed, um, check out that video. So I'm not going to uh, revisit all of those points today. Um, but overall, I was really impressed with this product, okay? Um, in it comes out like a nice thick moisturizer, um, okay? This is almost, it's called a lotion, okay? And lotions are lotions by virtue of the fact that they tend to have more water than creams, okay? And so sometimes lotions can actually be a little bit drying, but I would say this is more and more, more, this feels more like a cream, okay? So this particular product, which I really, really like, all right, is, um, and you can get all of these products on iHerb, by the way. The lotion re on iHerb, as well as their site and Amazon, I believe, um, sells for $14.95 for 12 ounces in comparison to the CeraVe body lotion, which um, is equally fantastic and a great one, um, but, you know, the cruelty-free vegan question mark. Um, you can get the CeraVe lotion at Walmart for $9.97 uh, for eight ounces. So it is, you know, more affordable, obviously, than this. Um, so there's that caveat. But um, plus CeraVe, you can always, you know, download the $2 coupon and, and save yourself. So CeraVe, you know, it's a bigger company. Their products are, you know, now quite a bit cheaper, at least here in the U.S., okay? The other reason why I was drawn to these Ceramedics products is that a lot of you guys in other countries can't get your hands on CeraVe, although it's coming, stay tuned to many of you. Um, but you can get stuff on iHerb, and the CeraVe stuff sells out really quickly, and, and you know, you guys are seeking vegan, cruelty-free skincare. Um, so that was another reason why I was why I was drawn to try these bad boys out. All right, so the lotion overall, I swear, I give it, you know, I, I, I was thinking I wouldn't like the lotion because I'm always kind of like, all right, lotions are lotions. There's not a whole lot that, that can really, you know, blow you out of the water. But I actually give this lotion um, a 4.3 out of 5, okay? And in comparison to CeraVe, uh, aside from the price, um, I think it's, I think it's actually somewhat better. I hate to say that because um, <laughs> I love CeraVe so much. But just comparing the two lotions, this one provides a much better uh, barrier uh, to, the, to, to transepidermal water loss. Um, people, I, I think pretty much all skin types would be well served by this um, moisturizer that uh, I think is low likelihood of causing people with um, sensitive skin problems. I really liked it overall. Um, would repurchase this even though it's a little bit more costly. Uh, for those of you seeking vegan skincare products, this please, I, I, I strongly recommend to you guys, you vegan exclusives, you cruelty free exclusives, looking for, for a moisturizer, this, this I strongly recommend, okay? Um, all right, moving right along. Um, the next product that I've been trying out, and I, I like it, but um, it's the Ultra Moisturizing Cream. I was really kind of hoping that this would substitute for the CeraVe in the tub, but d d long story short, it doesn't, okay? Um, there are a few shortcomings in my mind of this product, but overall it's not bad. Um, it's kind of, you know, I was thinking it would be like CeraVe, you know, really occlusive, but it's kind of, when you actually put it on your finger, it's more the consistency of like a body butter, kind of that whipped texture, um, if you will. 
my problem with this one, um, you know, texture-wise, it's it's more like a whipped body butter, okay? It doesn't really give the same kind of occlusive feel that a really, really thick cream like Vanny Cream or the CeraVe in the tub afford for really getting a good good seal on transepidermal water loss. I didn't appreciate that just in terms of how the product applied. I imagine it is because, um, you know, the majority of the of the moisturizing ingredients in here are oils. And oils, as I've said before, they don't always, you know, make such a fantastic such a fantastic seal. My problem with this bad boy is while it touts itself to be fragrance free, um, at the bottom of the list there are a variety of extracts from like why are these here? Like what purpose are they actually serving? Um, they just seem like likely likely to be problematic. Ivy extract, um, rosemary leaf extract, grapefruit seed extract, you know, perfume makers and, and fragrance. That's all, those are all bio, you know, compounds that are modified versions of what are in plants, okay? And so they can still be allergenic and problematic. So my beef with this product is those ingredients, but otherwise I think it's pretty good. Um, I probably would not recommend this one to somebody with true eczema just because of those ingredients. I would be concerned that if they put this on like an eczema flare of, of red rashy raw skin, they might be setting themselves up for a contact dermatitis. Um, so those are some problem ingredients in here from my mind for eczema sufferers. All right, so overall, I give this one actually a three out of five, and I, I you know, you can't substitute Sarah in the tub. Sorry, um, I think it needs some work, honestly. But overall, I was not like pissed to use this, and I don't think people would be largely be disappointed. And it's far more no nonsense than most of the other cruelty-free moisturizers out there. So there's that. But I would say skip this and go for this one. Um, okay, and then lastly, I was really, really impressed with, oh, let me tell you how much that cost. Um, the, ser the cream is, is $17.95 for six ounces, but the CeraVe cream is $12.68 at uh, Walmart for 16 ounces. So it's quite a bit cheaper, and I feel like it's a much, much better product. Um, outside of the shortcomings of people's reservations with it as far as the cruelty-free vegan vegan status. So here you there, but can't recommend the Ceramedics over CeraVe, um, objectively speaking. All right, moving right along, as I was saying, the face wash, I was really, really, really excited about. I was like, oh, okay, whatever, all right? I mean, disclaimer, right? Ceramides in, in washes, you know, people ask me, like, are they effective in wash forms? Who knows, okay? The studies and in, in the data that we have are in people with eczema putting moisturizers containing ceramides on their skin, not face washes, you know, so, you know, skincare companies, cosmetic companies, science will make a, a, a centimeter advance and they, they run like 900K with it, okay? And they'll just, I mean, before you know it, there'll be ceramide, you know, tissues to blow your nose, okay? So, I mean, it's like, eh, back the bus up, don't, I'm not too excited about the fact that this has ceramides in it. You know, I've used the CeraVe face washes, as you guys know, and I love them. I think they're fantastic face washes, not by virtue of the ceramides, just, they're just good face washes. They're nice and gentle. This one is uber gentle. Um, I think you would be hard pressed to be disappointed in this. It almost comes out like, like lotion, okay? And what I really like about this is it's pretty non, non soap, you know? The detergent in here, and if you're curious about detergents, is sodium lauryl glycinate, okay? I talked about um, ingredients and cleansers and kind of sodium laureth sulf, sorry, sodium laurel sulfate versus sodium laureth sulfate. Laurel is the more aggressive one on the skin barrier. Laureth is kind of moderate, just fine. Um, but sodium laurel glycinate is, is super, super gentle. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised with this. I found that it took my um, mascara and sunscreen off of my face, no problemo. Um, so using it just outside of a double, of my traditional my my go-to double cleanse method. I thought it worked really, really well. This is fragrance-free. It doesn't have the problematic um, extracts that they chose to put in the, the body butter. 
as I'm calling it, and it really is extra gentle. So I actually do recommend this. I think people with rosacea would be okay with this. I really do, okay? I mean, like I said, I can never predict that. Sensitive skin types, I think you would really like this. Um, dry skin, if you're somebody using like tretinoin or um, you're on you know, Accutane or something and you're, it's the end of the day and you need to take off all that sunscreen that you've been wearing for sun protection, which you need when you're using those things, as I talked about in those videos, um, I think this would, would serve you well to gently remove that sunscreen layer at the end of the day or your makeup if you're wearing makeup, but that's a battle I'm, I'm not going to fight today. Break up with your makeup, all right? One less thing to worry about, but anyways, the other, um, the other thing that I think is really cool about this is if this kind of, um, this kind of combines the double cleanse method in that there are some nice um, moisturizing plant-derived oils and fatty acids in here, the soothing properties of aloe, um, and then that very, very gentle detergent. Um, you know, if you can't get your hands on my diet, Ride or Die Hot Alabo cleansing oil, which I, I probably isn't vegan, um, it's not, um, then, you know, I think this uh, would be a product that you could easily use. and. Um, it rinses off really nicely. Um, it doesn't leave the skin dry whatsoever. So I really was pleased with this. Um, Cost-wise, this one is um, $9.95 on iHerb for six ounces versus the CeraVe Hydrating Facial, the creamy formulation, which I think um, you know would be would be the one that this would be subbing for, is $9.49 for 12 ounces. So at the end of the day, CeraVe is a lot cheaper, at least at Walmart, with you know you get the $2 coupon. But, um, you know, I really think that these are pretty good as well. They're not, you know, super, super expensive, I suppose. Um, and they are really gentle, no nonsense, which I like. And they're accessible to you guys on iHerb. And so I think that's great for those of you who have had trouble tracking down CeraVe. And overall, I, I've really been pleased with them. And I do recommend them, actually. Yeah, the concluding point that I'll make about these, I was really happy with them. I do recommend them. Um, but the point that I'll make is that with regards to the plant-derived cer ceramides and how do they compare to, you know, the, the synthetic or, um, uh, you know, animal-derived ceramides and other skincare products, like as far as their ability to restore the skin barrier, the answer is we don't, we don't know, okay? The, that data is not there. Um, it is assumed there are some, you know, laboratory studies on cells in a dish kind of thing um, that suggests that these are helpful, but there's no comparator, okay? That's the problem. There's no, there's no actual double-blind placebo-controlled trial, Ceramedics versus CeraVe, where they're objectively measuring transepidermal water loss with use. Um, so I can't comment on that, but... At the end of the day, the huge body of literature that we have with regards to eczema, dry skin, um, says that straight up using a fragrance-free moisturizer is is really what what helps helps the skin barrier restore itself. And you know, don't lose sleep over the the cer over the ceramide as an ingredient. Uh, but if you have it in there, it is kind of a nice bang for its buck. Um, but anyways, guys, yeah, like I said, overall, super, super happy with, with these products. This is my own opinion. Like I said, they're not paying me to say anything about these products. Um, and CeraVe doesn't pay me or, you know, I think they know I exist at this point. Um, cause I have a lot of videos about CeraVe on my channel. Uh, but, uh, yeah, these are my own opinions and I do really like, uh, the Earth Science brand. Um, and I think it's a good one. So if you guys, um, like this video, give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe I'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye